this video covers class basics that is how to create a class like the string class from the previous video recall that a class is a structure it has data class members and functions class member functions and we must use the keyword class to create our own user-defined structure. In this case, let's create a bank account class. To create a class, the keyword class must be used, followed by the class name, class, bank account, open, close, curly brace, semicolon. From here to here, we can create class data members, class members, and class functions, and they will belong to the class. <clears throat> let's create a private balance. What does private mean? It means that only bank account can read or write that class member. What is the benefit of that? Well, it keeps the integrity of the balance and it may be read and it may be written with functions that the class will provide and it will only be written after some business rules or some rules that the bank account class function sets. However, when we create a class, we need to initialize balance or private class members, in this case balance, with a concept known as a constructor. A constructor is a special kind of function that does not return a value, and it has the same name as the class. It may have zero or more parameters. In this case, we need a constructor that has one parameter that is an int to accept a number which we'll use to initialize this balance variable. Okay, public meaning the constructor, we want users of our class to see it. That way they can send in an initial balance to initialize this value balance. What's the syntax? does not return a value bank account bank account has one parameter b this is a class initializer list right here what happens here <clears throat> this is a function argument b when an instance of bank accounts created the user must provide a balance that balance will be used to initialize this balance private class member Okay, that's still good. That's good. However, how do we query the class or how do we allow other objects to query the class? We can create a function to return the balance. In this case, returns int get balance const and returns the balance. What is const? Const means balance cannot be modified in this function. Why? The integrity of balance must be kept and the function is const to prevent accidental modifying or updating of the balance. When is the balance modified? In functions that bank account authorizes. And that will be the next step. Okay. We have a simple class that has one private class member, a public constructor with an int parameter that initializes balance with a class initializer list. Notice right here, this is the constructor code definition. It is empty because at the moment there is no need to type or write C++ statements in there. There's a get balance uh, const function that returns int that simply returns the balance and const prevents balance from being accidentally modified in this function. We turn back to main when a function is created in C++, a programmer can use it. That is not the case with bank account we just can't use it just like the string an instance of 
bank account must be created. In this case, we create Okay, let's go through this exercise. Uh, what, what I want. Okay, we create a bank account. The parameters 500. What happens when the statement executes? Bank account, account 500 jumps to the code. The constructor, this constructor will execute exactly one time when the class is created. Thus, B is not 500. Initializer list states that balance will be initialized with the value B. Okay, we come back. Let's see how this class looks like. Count dot. It has a get balance function. Very good. Let's go to the test case. We want to show that if a bank account is created with a balance of 500, the balance will be 500. How do we test that? When account.getBalance is called, it should return 500 and 500 should equal 500. Example 4. Building. Succeeded, run the test, passed, 500 is 500. <coughs> we come back to bank account, thus the constructor is executing, it is initializing balance with the incoming function parameter B. Now one final step to do is come in here to main, create a bank account object and see out account dot get balance. Run the program. Five hundred. And that is how a simple class is created that has a private member. Again, let's review that. Private meaning users cannot see balance and they can't. Public meaning users can see it. Get balance and the constructor here can be seen by users of the class. And that video, this video, demonstrates class creation. Very simple class with a constructor, one get balance const function, and one private class member balance.